So, sorry about that. I, I, I've, um, I was, I'm discombobulated. Um, Chris has arrived a little bit early, so we know the wild show's going to oh, start. All right. Mate, seriously early. Seriously early. So the wild show's going to start definitely about about ten o'clock, and um, that helps me because uh, I've, I've got a few things to add to the. Uh, the discussion about Creative Commons, which is mostly around YouTube and um, the storyteller, because uh, this this drama show started with the uh, the storyteller doing stories, bits of drama, and referring to other things going on. And uh, Woodsworth and Deal Theatre, of which the storyteller is part, is now in the south of France, and. Um, they're going to come back. This is this is the really good news. I think they're going to be in the UK in June, and they're going to be somewhere near Exeter in July. So at that point, we can talk to them directly. I, I have spoken to them using um, video conferencing, but their their signal comes and goes. They're somewhere in the south of France. They're in a van some of the time. They do drive around, and the the Wi-Fi is good and bad in different places well it wouldn't be Wi-Fi if they were in a bag no I've got it all wrong Chris you're right it's not Wi-Fi it's a phone yeah that's it, what it is it's a phone yeah and data signals aren't always reliable no but there are certain places they can go to yeah where it well, sounds better than other places yeah uh, but what I and we haven't got we haven't got time at the moment really to get to go go into all this. But the the basis of storytelling, as I understand it, is that there are only so many stories. So if you happen to be telling a story that's very like another story you heard the week before in the same pub, nobody minds. This is normal behaviour and has been for a long time. So that seems to be how they operate. And then they do the, the classic Greek dramas. Well, they're not copyright anyway, you would think. There may be copyrighted versions of them, possibly. But um, if it says Creative Commons on YouTube, does that mean that some... Well, certainly, we, certainly that means to me that, that that sound can be used on the radio. This, this, this... I can't see why the original creator who's chosen to put it up there as Creative Commons would object, because normally we'd attribute to that. Hang on just a moment, I've just got to press a button over here. Uh, I've oh, got to, I've, well, I've got to stir at the screen and press this that's alright it's got to start I've had a discussion with the producer Chris and um, we've come up with a solution to me running out of time talking too long because I've got so much to say and haven't worked out my timings properly in the drama show so what I do I've got this version of Leon Huff he's not jiving he's jamming I start it at 54 and then when I run out of things to say I fade it up a bit I do that on this um, player over here on this screen. It's a uh, foolproof system. Yeah. It really is good. But anyway, um, if if we bought the CD, well, all right. Here's another example, Chris, which you could comment on. You've paid good money for various tunes that you play, which I happen, have. They happen to be on your phone. Yeah. But sometimes you're not here. No. So I've got them in a in a playlist on YouTube. Yeah. And in an extreme emergency, I may play them from YouTube. Yeah. That the, works with me. We think that's reasonable. Yeah, we do. So we have said that on air, and we've we've we'll produce this this show will be somewhere or another. And. I think I just heard the JD. I think our producer will be here yeah. before before in time for the wild show. Yeah. You would you would you would hope so, wouldn't you? Yeah. Um but look if if um well we're not gonna be specific about the record companies or rights holders 
that we might have upset with this shocking revelation that we do turn to YouTube in emergencies. Yeah. Because there's quite a lot of tracks we've got. Well, I'm going to play from CDs. I think I'm going to promote my own playlist, but or, but play them from CDs. And that that's a fair way of doing it, I think. Um, but at the same time, we will check with the storyteller and the Widsith and Deal Theatre uh, that we've got we've understood storytelling okay. So in other words, the basis of the story can be taken from another storyteller. Yeah. How that works in Creative Commons legal language as understood in California. Uh, but that's for further discussion. We've well, got. Have, have you been pulled up for using their stuff? No, no, I haven't. Okay. No, I just I just replay their versions, Chris. But there's other stories I'm reworking. Yeah. I'm reworking Cinderella. Oh, my idea is to get about halfway through it as Creative Commons, and then when the audience is in total depression because the the slipper's lost or the party's over or the pumpkin has returned, there is no carriage, then I'm going to announce I'm doing the second part of it as soon as I get an advance from a publisher. OK. Does that sound a reasonable approach? Yeah. Uh, I, think, I, think, I think the public... The, um, the, 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 the time has come to fade up the music because uh, the, the producer's arrived and we need to sort ourselves out uh, in time for the uh, the wild show. There you go. So uh, 